aim is to make women in Telangana state prosperous as Mahalakshmi's. As part of this, women are given free travel facility in the RTC buses, and I'm happy to inform you that this free travel scheme came into being on December 19th, 9th. Other promises made under the Mahalakshmi scheme will be implemented very soon. My government has a definite plan to provide better medical and health services to the poor. No one should lose his life, his or her life, because he or she is poor. My government's topmost priority is public health. Public health. Hence, the government has revamped the Rajiv Arogeshri scheme, which was implemented during the Congress regime in the past. Rajiv Arogeshri became very popular and talked about in the country. I am happy to inform you that Rajiv Arogeshri was revised, keeping in view of the increase in medical expenses and to suit to the present day needs and its, serv and its services are broadened. Under the new Rajiv Arogeshri scheme, the poor can avail medical facilities up to 10 lakhs. My government has started the implementation of the second guarantee in this manner. This is this will provide shakar to poor and middle class families to a great extent. The government will lay out a definite and time bound action plan to implement other guarantees promised in the poll manifesto, such as Mahalakshmi scheme, Raitu Barosa, Guruha Jodi, Indrama houses, Yuva Vikasam, and Chaitu. Chaita within 100 days of its governance. The government is dedicated to implement each and every promise it made in the party manifesto, and the government will stand by it. The government is making this promise through this house as a witness. Let me inform people through this house that the administration is actively preparing an action plan based on the promises made in the poll manifesto. We are assuring people in the state that we will implement the Verandal Declaration made for farmers, the Hyderabad Yuva Declaration made for youth, the SC and ST Declaration announced in Chevella, and the BC Declaration promised in Kamaradi, and its letter and spirit, in its letter and spirit very soon. As promised, we will identify the families of martyrs, allot them 250 square yards of the houses sites, and also pay them a honorarium. Our government is committed to provide quality, uninterrupted power supply to the agriculture sector. As promised in the declaration, we will give a minimum support price for each and every crop. There will be an action plan to waive the farm loans to the tune of rupees 2 lakhs. As promised during the elections, we will take up an action plan to give patas to the assigned lands and podo lands. We have promised people that we will order an inquiry into the irregularities committed and lack of quality and corruption in the construction of the Medigatta, Medigatta and Annaram barrages of Kalishwaram project. Our action plan will be in this direction. The government is committed to protecting and getting Telangana state's rightful share of Krishna river water. Our aim is to get national status for the Palamuru Ranga Red Irrigation Project, which is a boon to South Telangana. Our government has decided to complete the project and make Palamuru, Nalgonda, and Ranga Red districts into a fertile districts. Our government's aim is to complete the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Paramanta Chavala project started in the previous Congress regime and provide irrigation water to the upper reg region of the Adilabad and other districts. We will, we will implement each and every promise we have made to the youth. We will fill up the teacher's post by conducting the mega DSE within the six months. We are happy to inform you that the government has 